Hello, how are you? Um, I posted on my Facebook page today to say I was going to talk about families and rejection and I said if anyone had any questions to ask and I'd answer them all. Didn't get any. <laughs> Obviously people are not interested. Um, I kind of spoke to some of the um, girls on my team at work about what I was going to do today and just talk a little bit about families and stuff anyway. Um, I think my family have been watching these videos. I don't know if you are. You know, nice to see that you're paying an interest in me virtually, but you know, to do it in real life would be good. Um, if they're fine, I'm kind of I'm stuck here because I'm pretty, they're shocked, obviously, still. I mean, they've known for a full few months now. Um, so they've had a little time to get used to the idea. Um, I know my mum, she really struggles with it in so much as so she still loves me. She kind of. She wants to stay in contact, but she doesn't think she'll be able to see me. That hurts my feelings a bit, but only from the fact that I love her and I'm a child, and it doesn't matter what your child tells you, they're still your child. Now, I know I feel the same about my daughter. If she could tell me she wanted to fucking live as a monkey, wouldn't bother me. She's my daughter. I love her. As long as she's happy, then I'd support her. You know, or, you know, I would support her anyway, that's the wrong thing to say. I think that if someone wants to do something and they're really that determined, if they're your child, then you just got to let them do it. Be there for them. Yeah, it's really tough. I am struggling quite a lot at the moment. Um, I don't really... didn't really feel comfortable about doing a video when I was feeling depressed or when I was feeling down, but I thought, you know what, you can't do everything and be like, everything's wonderful, happy, smile, because being trans, everything isn't. You know, there are days when you want to punch everyone as hard as you possibly can, and that's not very ladylike, but that's just the way it is, that's the truth. Um, today, I had to go shopping on the way home from work, I didn't have to, but I wanted to, I went and got some wine and some chocolate, and after this, I'm going to sit and eat and drink, and watch Harry Potter to make me feel happier because it reminds me of my little girl watching it with her um, yeah it's really tough and um, the family rejection thing the thing that's getting me um, a little bit of history about myself I left home when I was 16 I'm now 39 um, so you know left home 23 years ago my family haven't really known me for an extended period since then to be honest with you um, I was in the forces for a bit for four and a half years and then I moved back home after I left the forces for a while for a few years you know stayed with my mom and dad for a bit and then met a girl and then that fell apart after a few years and then went back to them for a bit and then you know got a job and moved out and the rest is history, as they say. Um, but I think the reason that they feel they don't know me is because they don't. Um, from Germany, I've always been the one that's made the effort to go and see them and to phone them and stuff. It's never been reciprocated, and that hurts as well. Um, they'll say, "Yeah, we came down for your wedding," but they couldn't not have done really. Um, no, I'm just. This feels like a bit of a therapy session. I'm just getting it all off my chest. But if I'm gonna learn from this and understand where I was at different stages in my transition, then I need to get this off my chest now. Um, you know, kind of weird to be to the camera today. It feels like a therapy session as opposed to like me telling you what the journey's like. Um, where was I? Yeah. Anyway, them, them coming to see me and stuff after I'd moved away, they came down for my wedding and for my daughter's kind of, my ex and I aren't religious so we had like a, a name and ceremony for my daughter basically and they came down for that as well and that's it. Um, so yeah, I know with some families that's just the way it is but when you're the one that's making all the effort and everything and it, they don't in return. 
just gets on your wig after a while. Um, and if they want to comment on this video, go ahead and do it. At least I know you're out there. Um, ouch, I know, but I'm in pain and I'm hurting. And if I don't communicate that, how else am I going to deal with it? So yeah, that's where I am at the moment. Kind of feeling it is early days and the girls at work, I got sidetracked a little bit. They were saying that, you know, you can't really think that that's going to be it. I like rule out them, you know, coming back into life and stuff. It's early days, you can't really write it off. And I've been doing a lot of thinking since then. That was about two or three hours ago. And they're right. They are right. And I do understand that. It doesn't stop the pain at all. At all. You know, I'm doing this to be happy. That is it. I'm living life as I've always wanted to because I can't live life for other people anymore. And if anyone watching this has watched my previous videos, especially the first one, they'll see that's exactly the reason that I'm doing this anyway. I can't live as a male. Well, I'm not anyway now, but I, I couldn't continue to live as a male and be happy in my life. I was either going to spend the rest of my life being unhappy or do something stupid. It's not an option. Not an option. We're only here once. I'm going to live my life and try and make myself happy. And if people who are in my life or who were in my own life can't accept that, will be happy for me. See ya. Honestly, that's how I feel. Sounds harsh, but there we go. Dog barking outside. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It has been a bit rambly and a bit waffly, more so than I'd wanted to. I was hoping to get, you know, even just a few questions. Maybe I should give people a bit more notice next time. Um, if there's a next time, I don't know. Um, but that might be it for a while. I might come on again tomorrow. I have no idea, but I really felt that I had to say something. I'll get this bit off my chest today. Because it's been riling me for a while now um, and I hope I haven't come across as angry I've just explained my feelings um, whew, not good now um, yeah just when you watch this back later on Debbie remember that you did this because you felt you needed to and it's okay to be sad or angry or whatever. I think sometimes we, we, you know, we as in people in general, we try to get rid of feelings of anger and resentment or we don't try and understand where they're coming from. My resentment is coming from the fact that, that my family kind of don't want anything to do with me. Alright, you might not understand this, but unless you talk to me and communicate with me, you're never going to find out why I'm doing it or how happy I am. And the feelings I'm having at the moment, the sadness, are coming from the fact that I miss my daughter. Incredibly. So, you know, at least when you look at yourself and try and understand where your feelings are coming from, then you can start to do something about it. Hey ho, there you go. Life lesson for you. Um. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. So take care, guys. Look after yourselves and each other. Take care. Bye.